Linda with Pinky Mom. Uh -huh. I'm Mary, the sisters in the kitchen. And so what we're doing today is we're making some homemade potato soup. And we have got two pounds of small um, Yukon potatoes uh, peeled and cut in about inch cubes. We Sometimes I cook them whole, sometimes I cut them up, but we want them to cook uh, fast, so cut we're, them up. Yeah. we're cutting them up. So we got probably, oh, uh, a quart or more of uh, boiling water over here. It's already boiling. In the water, I've got a teaspoon of salt, probably about a half, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and I'll add more to mine later. Don't worry. So, so if this is just water and salt? And a uh, teaspoon of bacon grease. Okay. okay. So we're going to put the potatoes in it, and we're going to start these boiling, and um, we will let them cook. And while they're cooking, we're going to get some... Um, Cream of chicken mixed up. Um, okay. Here, you kind of whisk. Yeah, yeah. We'll get those going, and we're gonna uh, whisk Ooh, a yes, can of cream of chicken with just okay. a little bit of water. You put this sheet, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm through with that. And um, I'll use your little will um, will spatula there to get this out of the can. Okay. And y'all know I use the 98% fat-free cream of chicken. I don't like the store brand of cream of chicken. I like Campbell's. And some store brands I don't mind, but on, on cream of oh, chicken, I, I, like the, I like the Campbell's. So I'm just going to get everything out of here. And then I'm going to add probably about a half a can of water to it. And we're going to whisk it and get it smooth. I'm, I'm, every, everything is Christmas now. And I, I started thinking of Christmas probably a long time before now, but... Um, I was thinking this morning on the way over here, uh, what, what's some of your favorite Christmas times with your kids when your kids were little? Me? Um, well, uh, I have a lot of fond memories. Uh, the most recent that I can think of, when it's not recent, my goodness, um, Nolan. How old is Nolan? That's Renee. Nolan is, is he four or five? I think he's five. Okay. Yeah, I think he's five. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, he was a baby, just a baby. And I had bought all the grandkids uh, matching pajamas. <laughs> and and Nathan and Braden, I remember they were pretty good. What, nine, ten years old maybe? But to them, you know, they weren't sure if they wanted to be in a picture with pajamas on. But that is the cutest picture. Matter of fact, I think I'll just show it to you. Okay. <laughs> It's, um, I don't know when this became a trend for um, families to wear matching pajamas, but I love it. I think it is so sweet. I think it's, um, I think it's just something that you look back on years to come. Linda, my do youngest daughter, gave me a, a calendar that year, and uh, she put this on the front of the calendar. Can you see it? Is it? Am I too close? Uh, that's all the at that time. Now I've got some more grandkids. What um, probably what is it? Is Colton and Bradley, and then the little foster child. Um, so I've got three more since this picture was taken. But that's my grandkids, and they were so sweet. Uh, we tried to take more pictures than that, but that was the only one we could get them to sit still. And um, that's one of my fondest memories. Uh, this recent, uh, every year there's something that's different, you know, that uh, for the grandkids since they've been little. Um, you got an early Christmas present in 1979. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, little Linda. <laughs> I was, I had my youngest child. I was in my 30s, and it was a little... Um, uh, unexpected, but that's okay. She's been a joy and a blessing to me. I was supposed to have my youngest child around Thanksgiving, but because I had had surgery uh, while I was pregnant, uh, I, she was delayed some. So she was born December the 2nd. Precious little girl. <laughs> we thought we was going to have a little boy. That's what they told you us. You didn't know until she was born. I did not know till she was born that she was going to be a little girl. But, um, and she's our camera lady. <laughs> so, so we're really getting a double blessing. But her birthday's December the 2nd. So she has a December birthday. So, yeah. 
and of Aaron, a precious little baby. Um, and Aaron, Charles Linnell's son. And he was born in December the 1st. I was trying, Aaron, but I, I went to the hospital. No, it was the day after because I'm in the hospital about 6 or 7 o'clock that morning. I had her at 6 o'clock at night. So I, um, I was trying to have her the day before, but didn't work out. But anyway, I got a, birthday, a Christmas present. Yes, <laughs> and then Edward, our youngest brother, his birthday is December the 30th. Mm -hmm. And Mama had, I remember her talking about she had been pregnant, I guess, two years in a row at Christmas. And she yeah. wanted so bad to have Edward for Christmas. But he didn't show up, no. so he was born December the 30th, right. and he has the same birthday as our Uncle James, which is Daddy's young, right. of one of Daddy's younger brothers. Yeah. And Aunt Lucy, did you did you read on Facebook that Aunt Lucy had pneumonia? No, I didn't. Yes, I keep forgetting to tell you, Linda, I'm sorry. Uh, she's got pneumonia, and uh, I texted uh, our cousin this morning, and I haven't heard back from her to see how she's doing. She's 89. And she was supposed to spend Thanksgiving with her daughter, Eva, Eva. and she took pneumonia the night oh, before we sent to the hospital. That's so bad. Yeah. We love Aunt Lucy and yeah. we love our cousins. Yeah. Um, when we were kids, Christmas was so different back then. Um, we, they, I think we've mentioned this before, but they didn't wrap our gifts. They put no, them, no. <laughs> they put them, we each had a place in the living room and we kept our living room closed off. It was a really big room yeah. and we kept it closed off and that living room was for company. It was for when we were in there either praying or singing. Yeah, that was our room to sing in, play and sing and, in. Um, just kind of a, you know, I guess it was a it court. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it wasn't a court. It wasn't a formal room, but it was no. just a room that we would just in all, all the time. time. Yeah. And so we each had a spot that um, we had that they knew that to put our toys and stuff out. We put our shoes our out, shoes. and that's, and that's that, how they knew. And how they knew who's, and they fill it with fruit, fruit and nuts, orange and apple yep. and some nuts, and and, um, um, and then we whoever woke up the earliest, whoever woke up first, or not the earliest, but whoever woke up first would run in there and see, and we knew who. We knew who Santa Claus was, but we'd run in there and see if Santa Claus had come yet. And um, then we'd wake, holler and wake, wake everybody, everybody else up. up. Yep. <laughs> and no matter what time it was, it was usually either me or Edward yeah. one. Well, back when Molly, um, back when we go to her house, and we were small, that's when they lived in the old house, not the one that's there now, right. but the one that was there before then. And uh, Santa Claus always come to our window, and it was in old timey windows, you know, with the four panes, you know, you raise up. <laughs> no screens. No screens. And after, sometime after we had our dinner, well, um, we would, uh, everybody would say, he said, Santa Claus is here, Santa Claus is here. And we would run to the, to the window. And it was high on the ground. Yes. And, and Santa Claus would be dressed up. And I often wonder how in the world Uncle Herschel got that suit. We learned years later that it was Uncle Herschel. Right. But, but he had a Santa Claus suit. He had a Santa Claus suit. And that's when we were very young. And, um. And he gave every one of us either an apple or an orange. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody that come to the window, we got that. And um, and you know how kids' imagination is. They had a front porch. Remember that old yeah. front porch? I remember the front porch. And we would all run on, whenever he closed the window and he was gone, we'd all run on the front porch. And I'm telling you, I really thought that I could see Santa Claus and his reindeer. I've never been in the air. I tried to see him, but I never imagination our imagination we just knew we saw him and we'd all be waving by to him so and that um, old houses um, back then they had they didn't have a living room but they had what they called a front room yeah and had a bed in it. and all front rooms yeah. had beds in them mm -hmm. because houses yeah. weren't you know very big and right. you made use of what space you had so was it one bed in that front room or two it was or one bed was one. well later on they did put another a, a twin bed in there okay when i think it's when uncle um noe noe came to live with them they they put another little twin bed in there but it was just one big one right before you went into the kitchen okay and i can't remember the other rooms of the house. I remember the windows, and I remember the front room and the and the front porch. I and then, remember that. And then well. the back room. The back room that also had a door leading out onto the porch. Okay, I don't remember. Yeah, I do. That. It had. It, it was that. a door going out from the other bedroom in the back. I don't remember how many beds was back there, but I know there was a door going out on the porch. So okay. there's two front doors going out onto the porch. I remember that. And then uh, when Paulie, um, he wanted to build a new house. 
So um, he went to the bank and he he um, to to get a loan, and they told him that because the land was close to the um, Toyak River and the reservoir, that because it was in a flood zone, that they would not loan him money. It wouldn't had anything to do with Polly, his payment history, or anything like that. But because of that, so what they did is they went and found the house and they tore it down. Him and probably Daddy and all the men, they tore it down and they that. brought the lumber back and I they remember. built that house. I remember them building it. And they lived in the little red house while, while they, they were, were building. building that one. Linda, do you want this on high, boy? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to turn it down. Yeah, we, I turned it up because I wanted it to start yeah. boiling. And I'm fixing to add some, um, I'm going to add the creamy chicken to it in just a minute. But um, I, I just to, didn't know if you wanted it to boil that rapid and boil your juice out. I, I wanted it to start boiling because okay. I didn't want it to take a long time. Okay. It's not going to take this long anyway. No, it won't. They're about half I, I'm yeah. going to use a quarter that I had left from Sunday. So uh, I'm going to pour this, this cream of chicken in there. And we definitely don't want it boiling on high because it'll boil over. I'm going to put some cornbread that I had left from my dressing in the microwave so we can have some good so, hot cornbread. I'm using, um, trying to use the same bowl to keep from dirty extra dishes. So I'm going to just give this a quick rinse. And uh, I'm gonna mix up just a little bit of cornstarch. You gonna put some more black pepper in that, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I'm gonna put some. I knew it wasn't dark enough for you. <laughs> her, her stuff is black with pepper. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Um, somebody uh, said the other day um, because I made some potato soup at the house the other day, and I posted a picture of it, and. Um, they was talking about somebody said something about it being yellow and theirs was theirs usually white it's yellow for two reasons for one reason because we use yukon gold potatoes and the other reason is because we'll put cream of chicken cream of chicken you don't use cream of chicken in a lot of things that's why it's a different color yeah now i realize that everybody's got their own way of making stuff sometimes if mike makes potato soup he's going to put uh, dice up carrots. He's going to put onions and celery, and that's okay. I eat it and I like it, but sometimes I just want plain old potato soup. soup. You know that's what Molly used and Mother too used to feed us when we were sick. Yeah, just plain soup. potato soup. Not even the cream. Now, of they didn't put soup. cream and chicken. They in didn't put cream and chicken. Plain it was just plain potato soup and. Uh, uh, they said that the, the broth the, uh, off of those potatoes is like a healing, healing in, uh, and they used what they had back yeah. then too. But I love potato soup. I love potato soup with cornbread and I like it with crackers. So I'm going to mix up just a mm -hmm. little bit of cornstarch. I'm just going to get a spoon. I'm going to mix up a little bit of okay. cornstarch and um, probably about two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay. And um, a third a cup. And we'll show you the we'll show you the potato soup whenever she gets it completed, so you know what it now looks you like. You can use flour instead of cornstarch, but um, I will tell you if you use flour, you're gonna have to strain. It. Absolutely, you'll have That's you'll have fine. you'll have lots of flour. So what do you need? You need whisk. A, I just need whisk and your uh, well, that's a small one. That's fine. Um, and I need your measure. Which one? Uh, either one's fine. I'm gonna put about a third oh, okay. cup in it, so I can I can eyeball it. So I'm just gonna use about a third cup of water. Don't hot. When you're mixing cornstarch, um, I know we say this before, but always make sure that you use cold water. Do you need the sifter? You need that little sifter. I don't need the sifter. Are you talking about the strainer? Yes. I don't think I'll need it since I'm using the cornstarch okay. and the yeah. flour. Yeah. But you won't always mix up cornstarch with uh, cold water. And I don't mean ice water, but yeah, it can't be it can't hot. be hot because it'll it'll harden like a rock. <laughs> One lady told me that she made that chocolate pie and made that fill it that the uh, meringue, and I showed her how to do the uh, it's called gook uh, meringue gook. It's cornstarch and water, but if you cook that too long, it will get hard as a rock. <laughs> Poor lady, bless her heart. She. Um, she called and told me, she said, I made that gook and it was so hard, I couldn't even use it. I said, you, you have to constantly stir it and you don't cook it, but just a few, I mean like a minute or two. Okay, so I put just a tiny bit more 
cornstarch in it, and that wasn't an actual measuring spoon that I was using. So two tablespoons of cornstarch and about a third cup of water is what you need. Make sure your soup is boiling when you put it in here. And it's um, delicious. It's um, I don't I don't necessarily like it real thick. I just like oh, it to be. Yeah. I like little, it to have a little bit yeah. of thickness to it. Yeah. So you can make it as thick as, thick as you want it. But um, I'm going to turn it back up just a hair. And, and the only other thing I'm going to put in it when it gets done is I'm going to put just a tiny bit of butter, probably about a teaspoon of butter. In it. Give and, us out. Uh, a yeah, after it gets done. Yeah. Okay, we got it. And then you can add salt, pepper, and fat. We'll probably need to taste to this. To see if it needs any more salt. Yeah, taste it, see if it needs any more pepper. <laughs> I know I'll add some pepper to mine, but it's probably probably needs a tad bit more salt in it. Okay. Do you want to taste it? it and see? Yeah. Before I add, I'll add, I'll taste it. I try to be particular about the salt because I. I don't. I cook tend to a lot like of salt, salt anymore. Than most people since do. Chuck, since Chuck, my son, got on to me for salt and stuff too much. Yeah, and Mike is really particular about salt too, but I like salt. No, I don't. You think it needs just? A it's all right with me, but now, like I said, I don't use well, much salt I won't anymore. Add it, I'll add it, and if anybody no. wants to add it, they can add it to their bowl. It's all right with me, but like I said, I don't put much salt in my food anymore. Okay, we're almost ready. We're well, fixing to put this in here. So what do you want to do? I'm going to add this thickener to it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because once you add that thickener, it, the, the potatoes has to be done when you put that yeah. thickener in there because uh, once it thickens, you don't want to cook it too long because it'll get too thick then. Yeah, we don't, we're going to cook the potatoes another, probably another three minutes. It's, okay. not, it's not raw, but they're still okay. not quite done. Okay. So um, what we would do on um, Christmas Eve, we usually went to malls on Christmas yes, Eve. Yes, we did. Yes, we, we went did. to Mall Eve yes, on did. Christmas Eve. And now this was when we were little. As yes, we got yes, older, that changed. Yeah, right. But um, when we were little, that was what we did. But we didn't spend the night. No, we always went no, back home. All the way home, we would be looking out the windows trying to see if we could see Santa Claus. Because <laughs> we knew he's coming yeah. that night. And uh, in fact, the only picture that I'm aware of that we have of all six of us was made at Mom Holly's Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Now, we yeah. had pictures, but when our house burned up, we right. lost our pictures. Right. And this is the only way, right. only one that I know, and there may be some that some of our um, aunts some and our, uncles have that, that we yeah. are not aware of, right. but this one is the only yeah. one that I know of that we have. And you know what? Back then as kids, that living room looked so big. I mean, I it really did. And we were down there not very long ago, this same house, and that living room is so small. <laughs> it is. But it's kind we of got small. lots of people in it. Uh, we it got a lot of people. 35 or 40 people. The whole in it. floor was covered in the kids, kids, and yeah. the adults sat in the couches. And chairs. Elsie had six kids. Yeah. Aunt Faye had one. Uncle Herschel had six. Mm -hmm. Aunt Laverne had four. Well, she didn't have them all. All when we were little, no, but she had hers two. was spread out too. Yeah. Two of them. Um, Uncle Jesse had um, two. Well, two, but they lost little. one. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then there was four of us, and uh, Selby had one, and mm -hmm. Selby had mm -hmm. one. So who else am I missing? You say Mom and Daddy. We had four. Yeah, there was you four of us. us. Okay. So, um, um, that's it. That's all of us. And then all the that's adults, it. and yeah, and Uncle Noah and Aunt, and Aunt Selby. So yeah. it was a house full. Yes, we had a house full. And we sure ate, did. and um, I don't even remember if we drew names or not, but the kids always had a gift. Molly Ma always gave everybody a gift. And I remember after she got on up in years, uh, she started giving some of her old coins. Remember that? Yeah. Was it a quarter or a dime she, she started out with? She started out with a quarter, I it think. It could have been. She started been. out giving all the kids a quarter. And, uh, and then it went down to a dime. Matter of fact, I think my daughter, she gave her... A silver dime, and, and she's she, still little Linda, and she still Charles has it. still got one of his, she's and I it. think it's either a, 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 a four bit piece. Yeah, or a, that's right, a four bit piece. She she might have started out with four bit piece. Four bit piece. Now, that's fifty cents. For, in case you're for wondering. those of you that don't know, that's a, that's a fifty cents. That's fifty cents going. And um, matter of fact, they don't make any more, do they? The fifty cent pieces. No, I used to say. I got a bunch of them. I bought a bunch okay. of them from the bank. Okay, potatoes um, are done. So we're going to put this in here. 
I don't know if I'm going to get down to that or not, but I am going to start, color, you know, tapering off on my Christmas. I'll, um, we may do a short, short video and show you what our Christmas, but you know what? Our Christmas is not going to be the same as normal because there's a lot of people that's not going to be well, able yeah, to come Christmas well, because normal. of COVID. But normal, normal yeah. Christmas, half of her living room is full yeah. of uh, Christmas, Christmas presents. presents. You can't even, well, the kids, I mean, mostly. they're stacked up all the way up the wall and way out. And it takes us what? How many hours does it take us just to give them out? And they get so excited. They get so excited. They get so excited. But you know what? The kids, the grandkids, they're, you know, we don't have too many little ones anymore. But I love it. But I go through, I always prepare ahead of time. I I go buy, in July, I go buy extra container a box from Sam's of trash bags, of garbage can bags, because before we open presents, I pass it around to every one of the kids, and they put their wrappings in it, <laughs> because if you don't, there's wrappings all over the floor, you can't even walk, they get their toys mixed up, so I go and I pass out trash bags, and oh, we have so much trash <laughs> paper uh, at Christmas because of all the wrappings. It's a fun time for the kids. It is. So I'm going to put about a, what are you doing? quite a teaspoon of butter in it. Okay. And I'll it's, take it's done. Because that this butter makes everything good. Now, um, if you want to add bacon bits, if you want to add chopped chives or onions, cheese, sour cream. I don't eat sour cream unless it's baked in something, but a lot of people cheese, do. Cheese is cheese on, on, your, on, your, on your potato soup. If you buy it in salt grass or um, outback or something, you'll get it. You'll get the top and yeah, all those. Yeah. But um, I have a very simple palette and this is the way I like it. So okay. I guess we're going to take up the bowl. Okay. Yeah, show, show, uh, show the camera of your potato soup. So uh, you had a label, didn't you? I do. Oh, right here. Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> Here, let's get us some spoons. So, on an evening or on an afternoon or on a day when you don't want to cook a big meal or maybe you want something simple for lunch, takes, what, 20 minutes to make this? Yes. And you can eat it with crackers, you can eat it plain, you can eat it with cornbread, however you want to eat it. But it's delicious. It's a very good little um, bowl of food. So, oh, I want cornbread with mine. And this cornbread has got onions in it. <laughs> this is some of my dressing cornbread. Right. It'll still be good. It'll be good. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to use this plate till I get another one. Okay. That's what I had left from my, making my cornbread the other Do day. Do you put my your dressing. cornbread in your soup? Do you put your cornbread in uh, your soup? Some of it, I do. I some do of mine. it, I I some of it, I do. And then put some on the side to eat. So... You've got a bowl of potato soup and yeah. it's a good corn, Mary's good cornbread to go with it. That's the cornbread. All right. So we hope you enjoy it. We hope, hope you get you. in the kitchen with your kids and grandkids. Thank you for joining us. We love y'all. Be sure to tell your friends about us. Bye. Have a Bye. good day. Bye-bye.